Well, it is time for a range test on the new Model Y. We, of course, have the refresh Juniper Model Y. And as you can see from the configurator, we have the 20 inch wheels. And as we're wrapping up charging, 303 with these wheels is the rated range. And we're sitting at 302. I don't know if it'll jump the one more mile or not. We're like right at 100%. But who knows? We might see that 302. The thing is when we look at our total miles if i can get there let's see total miles so we are at 1532 miles is our um total driven so far and the reason i bring that up is because there was some range tests done recently where there were barely any miles on it and uh somebody had started the discussion about not having enough wear on the tires yet. So yes, the car is still brand new, but we're 1500 miles in well over that 500 mile threshold for these new Hankook Ion uh, EV tires, which is great. So 302 is what it's rated. This is a huge jump from the 20 inch on the previous Model Y. So this is kind of a big deal. So 327 is what it would be rated with the standard wheels. So I'm very anxious to see how this car does. The rules are 70 miles an hour and I have turned um, basically all the extras off. So we'll have the air conditioner running the whole time at uh, 69 degrees, which is the correct temperature. And I have full self-driving turned off, but I do have autopilot on, so it'll at least uh, drive itself for the most part within its own lane. So um, I should be able to maintain that 70 miles an hour uh, without issue. So if we do end up getting 300 miles, it'll take about four-ish a little over four hours so it's gonna be a late night tonight but i am excited to bring this one to you as we uh, wrap up charging here and i don't think there's anything else let's see i am on chill mode i do have like i said i have it on autopilot instead of full self-driving so all the extras are turned off and of course i have the ambient lights turned off as well there we go just finished charging 303 miles which is the rated range at 100 percent so that is what we're doing now i am going to go ahead and unplug we're going to start this now and i'll pick this up in intervals on the road and of course we'll try to get about halfway and turn around to come right back here so fingers crossed we'll see how this one goes all right so we're at the 10 percent mark um, about one mile ago, so 25 miles at 1%. I think it was 6.8 kilowatt hours. We've got some issues though. Um, <laughs> I can't uh, get autopilot to activate, so I even downgraded it to uh, traffic aware cruise control, and I've got nothing. It will not activate. So I'm doing the best I can to keep it perfectly at 70, but as you can see, there's a little bit of drift. Uh, but good news is it's pretty flat, so it's um, nothing crazy. But at 25 miles at the first 10%, 270 one hour per mile, uh, yeah, that's not a good start, but it always seems to start like that. On the left there, on the current drive, you can see I even tried restarting the screen while I was driving. So that's uh, from whenever I did that. So you can see we're sitting between 240 and 250 watt hour per mile since whenever that restart was. And that is where we want to be. I think 257, something like that is where you would hit uh, EPA rated range. So we'll keep a close eye on all this. Hopefully at some point, um, autopilot comes back. I don't know. This is kind of frustrating, but I'll catch uh, back up with you here at about 75%. All right, so there we are at 75%. First quarter done here, and uh, we came in at about 72 miles. So we were like three miles short of what um, the equivalent of, call it 300 miles of total range would be. So we are averaging it out correctly. So that is good, it's sitting at about 251.3, and that has climbed a bit. Um, it was really steady in the, call it 248. Um, now we're up to 251. So it's kind of going back and forth a little bit in uh, that range. But overall, um, we're looking good for possibly hitting at least EPA, which is uh, pretty incredible if we do that at 70 miles an hour. And to give you an idea, I think I did 260 or 270 miles at uh, 
at a, at a full charge at 70 miles per hour in our old Model Y. So this would be pretty significant if we end up hitting that. So I'll pick this back up at the halfway point um, and we'll, uh, we'll see how we're trending. Okay, so I have pulled over at 50%. My strategy is I'm gonna walk away from the vehicle, let the thing um, kind of recycle and see if when I get back on the road, we're good to go. So after 10 miles, I reset. So current drive doesn't match everything because I rebooted the computer on the road. And since then, two hours and four minutes, 140 miles, and we're at 149.8 miles, 250.2 watt hour per mile, which is, uh, man, we are right on track. <laughs> if we can keep this up, I think we could, uh, we could possibly hit EPA rated range at 70 miles an hour. So fingers crossed, stick around. I will uh, pick this back up. Um, We'll get back on the road and then once I get down to like 25%, I'll pick this up, give you an idea of where we're at. All right, here we are at the last 25% and we did almost 75 miles on that. So definitely on track to hit the 300. That's where we're at. A little bit left to go, about 75 miles to go. And uh, that'll wrap this thing up. All right, so there it is, 313.1 miles, almost 76 kilowatt hours exactly, uh, 242 and a half watt hour per mile, and um, arrived at 0%. So basically the last two miles, I started to feel um, reduced power from um, acceleration, but nothing crazy. I was still able to do 70 miles an hour, no issues. But wow, that is amazing. And looking at that, that's like something like, I don't know, four miles per kilowatt hour. And when I compare that to what our previous Model Y with 20 inch wheels did, it was like 3.6. So more than a 10% improvement over the previous generation uh, to get to here, which is pretty insane. So that is awesome. I'm very, very happy with that. Now I'm very curious what this would be with the 19 inch wheels. I don't know, but there you have it. 313 miles on a full charge rated at 303. Tesla has really come a long way in the last four, five years on EPA rated range versus real world range.